Gorboduck or Ferex and Porex Gorboduck has been considered as one of the earliest of English tragedies. It was jointly written by Thomas Norton and Thomas Sackville. They were two lawyers and members of Parliament. The first three acts are composed by Thomas Norton and the last two acts by Thomas Sackville. It has just been called the first regular English tragedy. Gorboduck was first staged in the Inner Temple Hall in 1562 before Queen Elizabeth I. The plot of the play is based on the mythical history of England. The story of Gorboduck is after the convention of the Senecan tragedy which abounds in murders, violence, and crime. Gorboduck is the King of England who in his lifetime divides his kingdom between his two sons Ferex and Porex. A quarrel arises between the two brothers. And Porex, the younger kills Ferex. The Queen Vidina who loved Ferex more than Porex, murders Porex in revenge. The story of the play makes us recall Shakespeare's King Lear. There is a widespread agitation among the people of the country. The people rise against the king and the queen and put them to death. But they cannot solve the question of succession. There are dissension among them which culminates into a bloody civil war, anarchy, and dissolution. The events of the play are being narrated by a messenger and confidant. The chorus sums up the situation with a few moral observations at the end of each of the first four acts. The Dukes of Cornwall, Albany, Logris, and Cumberland are the other major characters in the play. The plot of Gorboduck is based on a chapter of English history, but the treatment of the material is altogether Senecan. The play clearly displays the influence of the Renaissance, it also clearly indicates the playwright's aim to persuade Queen Elizabeth to marry. Gorboduck imitates Seneca slavishly with all crudeness and dullness. The play is divided into five acts. It was the first English drama to be so patterned. This pattern was afterwards followed by the succeeding dramatists. Gorboduck is tragedy of revenge giving rise to all kinds of crime including murder. But as in Seneca violence and murder are not shown on the stage. It should be noted that the Elizabethan dramatists were fond of showing bloodshed and violence on the stage. The play Gorboduck is a masterpiece in dullness with no comic relief. For the first time in the history of English drama blank verse was employed which was afterwards employed as the medium of all tragedies. Gorboduck lacks in movement and dramatic feeling. Though the play has many defects, it maintains a high artistic level. Sir Philip Sidney eulogized Gorboduck in his defense of poetry as being full of stately speeches and well-sounding phrases. It is interesting to note that the legend of Gorboduck figures in Edmund Spencer's The Fairy Queen, in which Gorboduck is addressed as Gorbogd. Thomas Kidd's The Spanish Tragedy established this Senecan form of tragedy. Christopher Marlowe's Jew of Malta, William Shakespeare's Titus Andronicus, and John Webster's The Duchess of Malfi and the White Devil are written in Senecan mode. The significance of Gorboduck is that it is the first regular tragedy in English literature. Please, subscribe Literature Guide.